Do you think the EU will retaliate because of what uh, the president announced yesterday? Do you plan any sanctions on the U.S.? I think it's uh, uh, very premature to have uh, uh, this type of a discussion, but I think it's already quite clear from the reactions of yesterday and today that uh, the decision of the United States uh, federal government and the announcement of the American president was uh, very disappointing for all of us, and it uh, uh, clearly uh, will have uh, uh, the consequences, because I think we must not forget that the Paris Agreement, the international treaty, which was uh, carefully negotiated, approved, signed, ratified, and it already entered into force. So it's very difficult just to say, okay, uh, now we are simply not going to, to respect that. A number of CEOs and business leaders in general have condemned uh, President Trump's decision. What kind of consequences are you expecting from businesses? And do you believe there will be consequences from European CEOs? I think that uh, first uh, I would like to say that if you look at it from the longer perspective, I mean, this decision we can really describe as a planetary mistake because the uh, world right now is going through the fourth uh, industrial revolution and the decision of the U.S. federal government is trying to push U.S. back to the, to the second industrial revolution. And uh, we are working very closely with um, many of the American cities on the global covenant of mayors. I have seen already the clear statements of the uh, governors of uh, uh, Washington, New York, and uh, California, and I'm going to meet uh, Governor Brown next uh, week in, in, in China. So I believe that the businesses in the United States, they know very well where the future uh, lies. Uh, they know uh, how uh, this uh, new type of energies like the solar and wind uh, are strong in the, in the job creation, and they're really linked uh, with the American future. And we are absolutely convinced about that in Europe, and I would say all over the world. So I have strong faith uh, in um, American cities, in American citizens and in American businesses, really uh, to, to push uh, uh, the, the America in the right path, uh, despite uh, the decision of the federal government. All right, but, but do you think that European CEOs will be less likely to invest in certain projects in America? Or again, I'm trying to, to get from you how you think, and I know it's premature to talk about it, but a sense of how you see the consequences unfolding. I think that uh, what is, uh, more, uh, I would say, really uh, very disappointing uh, for, for me uh, personally, because I'm a strong supporter of the Transatlantic Partnership, and I, I had the honor to sign on behalf of the European Union, the Paris Agreement in, in New York. So for us Europeans, it's uh, uh, really very regrettable that we are losing such an important ally uh, in um, uh, fighting against the climate change. And of course, uh, we'll be working very closely with the other partners. Today we have very important uh, uh, EU-China summit where the climate change and clean energy would be one of the top priorities. I'm going to participate in um, a clean uh, energy ministerial and mission innovation session next week in Beijing. And I have to say that also the, uh, the uh, mission innovation, which was originally the American idea, will have to be uh, kind of cherished uh, and taken over by us Europeans because uh, uh, simply this was the only, only way to do. So I think that uh, America uh, will simply withdraw from many I mean, the future-oriented and very promising alliances and, and development of the uh, future technologies, which I think would be really uh, to, the, to the detriment uh, of this uh, fast-developing uh, innovation in the field of clean tech, green tech, then the, and uh, the clean energies. And we, of course, would be very happy to welcome not only American investors, but also American scientists on European soil. Uh, Commissioner, I have two very uh, short questions. First of all, you were mentioning China there. Europe has said that they want to take the lead with China, but also Canada. Who else do you want for this global partnership? Yes, absolutely. I mean, we will be uh, working um, uh, together, uh, all development, uh, developed nations, not only uh, to make sure that our uh, commitment uh, would be honored, because, by the way, we in the European Union already uh, transform all our Paris commitments into the legally uh, binding legislative proposals, which would be approved uh, within a year or two. And we also want to work uh, with our other G7 partners to deliver on uh, our promises to the developing world. We are finalizing the work on external investment fund when we want to help the nations of Africa to leapfrog, to jump over the fossil age, because we believe that this is a responsible policy and this is how we can jointly tackle the climate change. 
Um, Commissioner, how much will this withdrawal actually cost businesses and industries? Do we know? Can you put a figure on it? I think it's very difficult to, uh, to put uh, the, the figure on it because it's very difficult to estimate uh, how much uh, the, um, uh, such an impact on regulatory stability could push down the investment uh, in uh, uh, the new technologies, in, in renewables. But at the same time, I, I hope uh, that American cities, uh, which are very, very progressive and a lot of uh, creative businesses in the United States, uh, will try to cover for uh, that lack uh, of certainty by the, the private initiative and the private investment. But I know uh, how uh, the investors are sensitive sensitive if you change the rules, if you simply uh, do not want uh, to keep your, your, your promises, and uh, usually it, it causes uh, 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 slowdown in the investment. And this is what I think we will also see in the United States uh, until we see how, I would say, the, the cities, uh, the, the corporate, the licenses uh, can figure out uh, what to do next uh, in the United States uh, in this very uh, important uh, economic field for the future.